Hey guys, how's it going? Lunith here, and welcome back to another episode of my Dragon Warrior Monsters 2 Let's Play series on the Game Boy Color. In the last episode, we did some stuff around the Ice World. We, Because we got a crest from the Spirit to act as their envoy, we were able to enter the palace in Norden. Entered the palace, spoke to the king uh, to try and see if we could make him have peace with the West. Unfortunately, he wasn't going to have it, he wasn't going to do it, he wasn't happy with the idea. Um, he said he wanted the gold, it was rightfully theirs. So we went to the gold mine to go and find this gold. And we basically came across the gold and there was no gold. We fought a monster, there was just like no gold there. And um, both kingdoms discovered that as well after we beat the monster. And went back and told their respective leaders that there, there was no gold. So we went back to Norden to now see if he would allow <coughs> us to pass through to the Western Kingdom. And he basically said he thought it was all a lie, that they'd stolen the gold, the West Kingdom, etc. Um, and then he threw us into a dungeon. And in the dungeon we met both the Prince, uh, Kamea, Prince of Great Log, as well as actually meeting the real king. So it turns out the guy was an imposter. So we found our way back out of the jail. We basically got the real king and the imposter king. Got into a little scrap, got into a little fight. And then we had to try and work out which one was the real one. And which one's fake one? The fake one kind of gave himself away by saying some stuff that obviously a king wouldn't say, uh, but a monster would say. And then uh, we fought him, defeated him, and now the king is allowing us to access the Western Kingdom. So, what we're going to do now is we start this episode by going to the mine, where so far access to the Western Kingdom has been blocked. And I'm hoping that, of course, now we can probably go through to the Western Kingdom. So let's go do that first. Oh, I went the wrong way. I think it's down here. And we'll grab this little stick, staff, warp, staff or whatever. a fight. A single yeti shouldn't be too tough a fight. Okay, so we made it to the mine. Now let's see. Yes, we are just able to walk through now. They're not blocking the way anymore. So we'll make our way through. And... They're not blocking the way up there either. It's perfect. And out into the Western Kingdom. So let's have a little explore around. I'm guessing we probably want to go to one of those buildings. Like the one here. Let's see what this place is. And have a little talk around. This is a town of Western. It's the Western Kingdom's port. The West Castle has seen a steady stream of a uh, stream of visitors and gifts. They're offering a reward if you can cheer Lady Una up. I'm thinking of going myself. I saw Lady Una riding towards the forest in the southeast. She looked dashing on her steed. Okay, let's try and remember all of this information. Across from us on the lake is the Eastern Kingdom. It's ruled by Queen Helen, I think. Will our Lady Una become our queen? Can I check in the barrel? Yes, I can. Let's peer into the barrel. And, oh, got a tiny medal. Very nice. Okay, don't need to go to the inn. I'm not too badly hurt right now. Let me talk to some more people. The king dotes over Lady Una. He'd gladly give up his own life for her sake, I'm sure. Lady Una locks herself in her room all day long and won't come out. The king is at his wit's end. Well, apparently she's going to a forest in the southeast, so... Clearly not always locked in her room. The road to the East Ki Eastern Kingdom is teeming with tough monsters. If you're thinking of going, it may be less dangerous to cross the lake. Oh, we'll see. And we'll talk to some more people. Lady Una has been a lively girl for as long as I can remember. Her habit of sneaking out of the castle vexed us to no end. I've heard rumours that something is wrong with Lady Una. I wonder what it could be. I haven't been seeing too many ships coming into our harbour. 
I wonder why that could be. Ships make great transportation. <coughs> they do. Lady Yuna is said to be quiet and withdrawn these days. Perhaps she is trying to cope with adolescent concerns. Maybe, maybe. A woodsman came by a while back. He said something very disturbing. He was in the big forest, which is across the bridge south of town. He claims to have been chased by the ghost of a young woman. The forest looks ordinary, but who knows? If you can cheer up the princess, you can earn a reward, I hear. A whole lot of challengers have already gone to the castle. Maybe I ought to try too. The castle is to the west. Just go along the river and you're there. Okay, well, I guess that's where we're going to be going. So we'll go to the west. And down. And here we go. Uh, let's have a little talk to these people. When I balance on my ball, people simply go wild. Just watch me. Please line up and quit pushing. Everyone will get their turn. Sigh. Everyone is after the reward. Of course they are. What's this sign say? Come all who have the confidence to delight Lady Yuna out of depression. Anyone restoring joyous laughter to her will receive a generous reward. Well, if it isn't Loon, you managed to get out of the castle, did you? You can thank me for it. I let you have the glory last time, but this time it will be mine. <laughs> ah, he doesn't wait around, does he? Just smack those people into the castle. Before Lady Yuna would be up and out playing at sunrise, but now she never ventures out. The castle is in an uproar. You're here to cheer up Lady Yuna. Please go right through. Oh, I want to see what's to the left first though. More people to talk to. Let's talk to these people first. What happened to Lady Yuna? It's as if she is a soulless puppet. Lady Yuna used to be very lively. It makes no sense, her depression. This leads to Lady Yuna's room. You may not go beyond here. In the east lives an old man who had tutored Lady Yuna. He knows about her the best. In the east? It's a long way to go. Alright, let's go back into here now. Here to cheer up Lady Yuna, please go right through. Let's go cheer her up. Get this reward. Enough! Enough of that dancing! I'm the king. What is your act? Magnificent! Don't you agree? Not even this. You were superb, but Yuna didn't appear to be much impressed. She used to be full of laughter. It happened so quickly. She came back to the castle like that one day and hasn't been the same ever since then. No one has any idea what to do. Uh, uh, he's saying the same thing anyway. Okay, so... Gonna make a way back out of here, I guess. Oh, let's have a talk around those more guards now. Oh, Lady Yuna, to think that I won't get to see your smile again. Oh, it's the end of the world, huh? Yeah. What are you doing here? You shouldn't be eavesdropping. You shouldn't be talking to yourself. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's a potion there. Can I? Yeah, I can ride on the water. Nice. Let's go grab the little potion. Oh, the love water. Uh, there was meant to be some kind of forest to the east. With a ghost. So, I guess we go there. Because someone said they saw Yuna going southeast to that forest. Which is kind of weird because she's in the castle, but who knows. Oh, these are orcs. Actually, I want to catch an orc. 
I don't know why, but I always recall Orcs having a lot of attack, or at least they did in the last game. I think I actually had an Orc in my main team when I did the last game. So let's use a rib. I know I'm only using it on one monster now. It's a bit of a shame I didn't use it at the start. We'll see how it goes. Come on, join us, Orc. Oh. Yeah, go back to being down, you silly Orc. Okay, we won. Nice, nice, nice. Please join me. Please join me. Yep. And can't be bothered to give him a name. Jazz. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, will we take him with us? No. Send him back to the farm for now, but we'll do some breeding later on to get some stronger monsters eventually. Oh, okay. That was the actual forest, I'm guessing, then. Let's have a little talk around. My father is so cowardly, getting all spooked by a ghost. Your monsters frighten me more. This happened when I was deep in the forest, far to the west. A young girl just appeared and she sort of glided over me without moving her feet one bit. I turned and ran, but she followed. I speak to the horse. Whiny or whinny. Why is the horse even making noise? Oh, wait, that does look like Yuna. Like the other guy said, he saw Yuna going this way, so maybe she's a ghost. Although she's obviously still alive because she's in the castle, so obviously not a ghost. Uh, that's just, um, should I try and catch one of these guys? Probably should, they're probably a decent level. Throw some ribs at them. Well, they actually hit pretty hard. They hit Monsieur for 18, so... I have a good bit of attack. Okay, let's just kill the last one off. Hopefully one of them joins me. So I haven't wasted a rib. 507 experience as well. Wow. Got a couple level ups out of that fight. No, oh, none of them joined. Darn, maybe I need sirloin now. You startled me. I don't remember who I am, what I'm doing here, or anything else. I just know that I need help. Oh, do you know who I am? Can I get you to take me back home? Yeah, sure. You will? Thank you. Let me hide among your items. What place to hide? Oh, that's Yuna's soul, okay. Well, I guess that's why she suddenly appeared to become unhappy and soulless. What's down here? Potion. Let's grab the potion after the fight. I will use another rib, I think it. See if I can catch something. Oh, yep, there we go. Manny to join the Nachi. That's the one that was hitting me the hardest, so probably has the highest amount of attack. So, probably the one I wanted the most. And it could be called Furil. Uh, no, we won't take him with us. But it will probably be a good monster to breed with. For all the extra attack, so. Okay, well, we've got Yuna's soul, so let's go back. I'm not going to bother checking with the little side bits. I feel like those corners are all, all going to be... Um, just dead ends with items. And we've got a herb there. So let's go over the bridge this time. We'll go the other route. And into a fight. Oh wow, actually. That grizzly bear's gonna have some. Do I have any more food? No, I used all my food. Wait, did I? Yeah, I used all my food. I bet that grizzly bear hits hard. Have a look how hard does a busy hit? One. Well, one on slash. Slash has so much defense, so now I'm. 
Oh, but I would love to have had the Grizzly Bear. I think it would be really good for attack. Although he only hit me zero for eight. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, we'll keep going. Oh, yeah, it's a castle. Uh, there's not an inn here, is there? What's to the left, actually? They just take me straight back out. Oh, no, it is actually a way. Oh, there's a vine here up to a room. Ah. What's this? Stop! Don't meddle! Never did I expect Tuna's soul to be found. But no matter. You must defeat me to save her. Do you wish to battle? Um, yeah, why not? Your life ends here. Give it up. I think I've got enough herbs in love water to do a fight. I'm going to use... Um, might as well use up that herb we got earlier. Oh, we've got two herbs. Let's use up a herb now. On the zero, just to... Just in case this guy does a lot of damage or anything. Puppetor. This guy doesn't seem to be too tough, damage-wise at least. Don't know how much health he's got. Just keep whacking away, I guess. Oh, that was it. Oh, fair enough. Relatively easy. Ha! How? But this isn't... Eunice's soul filled her body. I finally remembered. I'm Yuna, the king's daughter. I'd overheard a man and monsters concocting a criminal plan in the forest. But they found me. A monster drained my soul and my body was put under its control. Their plan was diabolical. They wanted to steal the sky shield from the elemental spirit. So they tried to create strife among people to weaken the spirit. Their next target is Queen Helen of the kingdom in the east. There can be no one else. Please go to her and help her like you have helped me. Oh, that's nice of her to tell me where I need to go next, at least. The next target is Queen Helen. Okay, yep, she's repeating the same stuff. Just wanted to check. She didn't say other stuff. So, well, it's going to be a bit dodgy if I just suddenly walk out of her room. Uh, hello. Oh, how did you get in here? Can I come out? No? Okay. We'll go back out the window then. And then I'm going to go talk to the king, maybe? See what he has to say. We'll go up here. Hello, King. Yuna is back to being herself. Perhaps she is a bit too energetic, but it's a cause for celebration. Okay, I guess at this point now we'll go to the port just to go to the inn to kind of rest up. And then I guess we want to go to the Eastern Kingdom now, like I've been told to by Yuna. So that's what we shall do. So first things first, let's go to the inn and heal up. Oh, there's a... Welcome to our inn. It's Tenji and night. Will you stay? Of course. Only Tenji is an absolute bargain. The fact that it's not gone up in price at all amazes me, because normally they do. Hello. The lake is frozen, so I can't very well take my boat out. The north winds seem to be unduly harsh this year for some reason. Hello, how may I serve you? What have you got to sell? Um, hmm. Tell you what, I would like to have a few ribs with me, just in case. I'll buy five ribs, and then let's sell some stuff as well to this guy. What would we like to sell? Well, we'd like to probably get rid of the herb. I'd like to probably get rid of the potions. I'm not going to use those, I don't think. The warp wand, yeah, let's go to that. I'll hold on to the exit bell. I'll hold on to the rest of the stuff. <clears throat> I'm actually going to buy a warp wing. A couple of them. And that's good. Let's go. Oh, right, down, down, down. 
Okay, so obviously, wait, can we go over the water? Yeah, we can go over the water, so we were recommended to go over the water to avoid all the scary monsters, so that's what we're going to do. And now we should be at the Eastern Kingdom. Oh, potion. Love water, even. Uh, yeah, just go east a little bit and we're there. Oh, and some money. ATG, not a lot, but every little helps. Let's have a little talk around here now. This is the castle of Estria, the Eastern Kingdom. Around these parts there are times of perpetual days and nights. It can be hard to sleep properly. I use a potion made by a scholar when I can't sleep. It works. Okay, let's have a chat with this person. I heard this on the side from my sister who works in the castle. Queen Helen is very upset over ominous dreams. It must be bad to keep her from sleeping. That's why she seems to be so cranky. Alright, well. Let's see what this guy has to sell. Hello, what may I do for you? I'd like to buy, please. Uh, wow. Yeah, I bought a bunch of rooms at 300 each in the last place, didn't I? Now they're 200 each here. I got ripped off. Absolutely scammed. Okay, let's have a talk around. The Queen looked haggard recently. Lack of sleep must be very taxing. She's been rather irritable. Our Queen is a kind person who has a friendly word for everyone. But lately she looks grim. A teacher from the West lives over there. He wants to tutor to the West's princess. A botanist does live here, but he's been gone for quite some time on, re on a research trip of some sort. Who knows where he could be now. I retired as a teacher and came back home. But yes, I tutored Lady Yuna in the Western Kingdom. It brings back some memories. Will you hear this old man's this old man reminisce? Of course. Lady Una was a rambunctious soul. She was much more likely to be out playing in forests with animals than staying cooped up in the castle. She used to climb out of her room on vines outside her window. She often went to the forest south of the castle. She liked it there. Ah, good memories indeed. Okay, got a few more people to talk to, then I'll try and enter the castle. Queen Helen came by a while ago, so I greeted her, but she said nothing and walked by without notice. She used to greet us warmly before. The spirit spring has frozen. The lake is full of ice too. These are terrible omens. Queen Helen's dreams come true. If she hadn't dreamed of this, we would have we would have fared much worse. Well. I guess we go see if we can enter the castle. Hello. This is no place for a child. Oh, an envoy from the spirit. Yeah, let me in. Okay, let's have a speak with these people. Nightmares so horrible that they keep Queen Helen from sleeping. What is happening to the kingdom? Queen Helen had been suffering from nightmares and now she has fallen terribly ill. Her life is in jeopardy. How can we save Queen Helen? According to some medical books, there is something called sleep herb. The scholar may know, but he has gone on a study to uh, on a study trip to North Nofor. Okay, well that's the place up north. You can't come in here. Queen Helen's room is past here. She's taken sick from nightmares. If she could sleep deeply, far beyond seeing any dreams, she could be, she may be cured. Okay. The receptionist hall is past here, however our queen isn't there. No? Fair enough. How can we help Queen Helen? There was a good medicine, perhaps we could ask the scholar. But the scholar has gone off to know for. What to do, what to do? Well, I guess we're going to know for? Which I am pretty sure is the Northern Kingdom we started at, so... And there's nothing else around us there. So I guess we'll just uh, hop on the water and make our way. 
So pretty straightforward, go to no four, find the botanist, get him to make us a sleep herb, bring that back to Helen, cure her, and then we go to the spirit to kind of end everything there. Can I not access this place here? I must be able to get on somewhere. Oh man, I was going to try and shortcut my way through. All the ice is blocking my way, sadly. I guess I'll have to go via the gold mine. Ooh, fish rider, new monster. Looks kind of creepy if you ask me. Okay, we're going to go left, and more left, and I guess we're going to have to go down, because I'm going to assume it's mountains all the way up, still more mountains, okay, I can get off here at least, grab the potion, and I think we go up to get to the gold mine, there we go, so we'll go back through here, and make our way up to No4. And got a rib, very nice. Depending on where you buy the ribs out, they could be 200 each or 300, e 300 each, so... It's like a good bit of money in some ways. Okay, we'll make our way north. And we get a love water. Um, wait, wasn't that for the name of the port? Ah, uh, I can't remember. Let's go check. Because I'm starting to think the other place is Norden or something. I'm going to go check. I think it might be the port, actually. Oh, that's a rib. I want that. Can I... No, that's the map. Item. Let's toss something. What can I toss? It's just a bunch of love waters and stuff I've got right now. We'll toss a love water. Oh, no. We'll use it. No. Uh, yeah, we'll use it on Riken. Get one HP. Totally worth it. Grab that lid. And go into here. Because this is no for, isn't it? Yeah, this is the port of no four. This is no four. Okay, perfect. Um, what am I going to do? Let's see. We need to talk around see if we can find this botanist. We're passing through from the east, but the ice sealed us in. We've been stuck here a month. Mama said to stay off the ice. It can break if it's too thin. Okay, I remember... I mean, we've spoken to everyone here before, so I just need to work out which one was the botanist, basically. It's useless, beyond useless. The ice has the port clogged. No ships can sail. I'll go bankrupt. Do you know Lady Yuna of the West? I heard that she's really lively. I like cheerfully loud girls. I hear the West and the North are lacking, are locking horns over the gold mine. I can feel trouble stirring. I've already resolved that. The scholar in the tavern said he came from the Eastern Kingdom. He knows of every plant in the area. Perfect, that's what we want. So, where's the tavern? The inn. Let's go into the inn. Uh, oh, yes. Is this a scholar? I've travelled far to study plants. Sleep herb is the one plant that assures a deep and dreamless sleep. It grows only atop a mountain on the East and North Kingdom's border. It is a rare blue flower that grows only in extreme cold. Oh, the mountain can be reached only from the east side. It is far to the north of Eastern Kingdom's castle. Okay, well, perfect. Let's save it up here. I think and end this episode here, because I think that's where we're going to have to go. But it's going to be a little bit of a journey to get there. Because we have to basically go back from where we came from. So I'm going to save it now. And yeah, end this episode here. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please do comment, like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. So, see ya.